This is the original Crossley handbook for the engine. And this is the bit here that explains about crank crankshaft deflections. So this is what we call a web clock for measuring crankshaft deflections. As the crankshaft goes round, basically, you won't believe it, but the webs actually open and close. So there's little dimple marks on the crank and these ends go in there. So each division is a thou. So and it's quite lightly sprung. So we shall now fit the web clock stroke deflection gauge. And then you adjust the extension bar so they just got a bit loaded and you can finally adjust it with that little thumb wheel there. And you spin it round a few times, make sure it's bedded in the dimples and set it at zero. Then you bar it round in 90 degree intervals and record what the, uh, the bend is in the crank. And of course you need as least as possible. To take the crank web deflections, as the crank has rather large balance weights, we're having to uh, restrain it as the lads turn it. So we're using two chain blocks, one lifting it and the other one that's stopping it. The problem arises when you get the two balance weights at the top and uh, it wants to uh, do its own thing. So the clock's between the webs now and they're slowly barring it round. Started at zero to see uh, how much it deflects, hence the uh, deflection gauge. So we've moved 90 degrees and the, the crank has bent 2 thou. And according to the boot, we're allowed 5 thou. So uh, we're well within uh, the limits. We'll now go to the other bit. It bit, gets a bit dangerous now because when the balance weight's at the top, it's make your mind up which way it wants to run. <laughs> yeah. We're at bottom dead centre of the crank and it's three thou or two three quarters. <laughs> 